Kia ora and g'day. It's been a long time since I've done some sort of public update to the podcast, but as we are hurtling towards a pretty major turning point in our story, I thought this might be the right time to chat about a couple of things with you. The massive turning point I speak of is that after the Warfare episodes, which will be coming soon, we will have finished our discussions on the pre-European Māori era. Back when I first started Hans, this section was actually something that I thought was going to take like 10 episodes and a few months, and instead it's taken around 100 and 5 years, which is a massive blowout. However, those 100 episodes are something that I am really proud of. No other organisation is making content like this in depth on New Zealand's history. And I don't think any media outlet would commission a podcast that was going to take half a decade to get to the point where Europeans turn up. The focus on Māori culture and history has been extremely important to me. So I want to say thanks for coming along for the ride so far, and really proving that this sort of content is what people want, and that Māori history is something worth remembering. The next step in the narrative after the Warfare episodes, we'll be jumping to the arrival of Dutch explorer Abel Tasman, who turned up in Aotearoa in 1642. His stay was very brief, he didn't even touch land, so we likely won't spend too much time on him before we jump again to James Cook's first voyage in 1769. I predict the Warfare episodes will be complete and fully released by the end of the year, maybe early next year depending on how we go. When those Warfare episodes are done, I'll be taking a break. In the past, when I've said, I'm taking a break, what that's meant in reality is, I just don't release episodes, but I'm still working on Hans in the background. Not this time. I've been working on the podcast as a hobby for anywhere between 1-5 to hours a day, every day, for the past 5 years. And that's outside of my normal 8 hour day job. Plus, you know, eating, sleeping, and all that. I've tried to make it as sustainable as I could, and it has worked really well so far, and I think it will continue to work well. But to level with you guys, I'm fucking knackered, constantly thinking about the podcast and needing to work on it every day. So this time, when I say I'm taking a break, I really mean it. I'm really kind of saying that more to hold myself to account than anything else. For probably like a month or two, once this next set of episodes are done, I'm not even touching the podcast outside of social media. This means the Abel Tasman episodes might take a bit longer to get to you. But you're just kind of going to have to accept that. Otherwise, I'm likely to burn out, and then the whole thing is going to come crashing down, and none of us really want that. Hopefully, most of you understand that this is a long-term project, and so I need to take steps to ensure its long-term success, and one of those steps is to look after my mental health. One of the other steps to ensure Hans' long-term success is related to money. Hans has done really well, more well than I ever could have imagined, and in terms of the amount of people listening, we are getting bigger and bigger every month. But with great success comes greater costs. On top of this, I want to grow the podcast more and make it better than it already is, which also comes with costs. A part of this is that I'm in the process of trying to make Hans at least a part-time job so that I don't have to do it exclusively as a hobby outside of my full-time job. This means I can spend more time working on it and also access resources I wouldn't normally be able to, 
like the National Archives here in Wellington, which have some very strict opening times, and all of them are within business hours, which is when I'm at work. Again though, if I turn this into my part-time job, it means I have to reduce hours at my current job, or maybe quit it entirely, and I still need to eat regardless, and unfortunately, that costs money too. To get down a little bit more into the nitty gritty, there are a few different avenues to achieve this, and I'm exploring all of them. Such as getting grants from the New Zealand government, and seeking out sponsors for episodes. Kind of in line with what I did with Spates, if they had actually said yes. The most obvious avenue though, is something that, up until now, I've been pretty staunchly against. Advertisements on podcasts are a bit of a contentious issue at times, and I'm hyper aware of my privilege in the subject matter of Hans. However, so far I have been pumping my own money and the money of the ever amazing patrons into this podcast. And I think that if we want to make this as good as it can be, we need to look at every possibility and take whatever opportunities we can within reason. So, with that in mind, starting with the first episode on Māori Warfare, Hans will be playing dynamically inserted ads before and after each episode. There will be no mid-roll ads. I want to make that very clear. There'll be no interruption halfway through with ads. It'll only be before or after each episode. Unless I fuck something up. In which case, just let me know and I'll fix it. I have no control over what these ads are. They are dictated by Acast, who look at a bunch of stuff, such as your location. So hopefully, they should be at least somewhat relevant to you. And if you skip them, that's all good. I do that on podcasts that I listen to, so I ain't one to judge. But ads will help in supporting me and the podcast. If this thing is to really get off the ground even more than it already has, then we need to inject some dollars into it. And this is a really easy way to do that. If you desperately fucking hate ads, again, no judgement, then the $5 and up Patreon tier will always have access to the ad-free feed. You still get to support the podcast, and you don't have to listen to people trying to sell you stuff. It's a win-win. To be clear, this isn't a way to try and get more people onto the Patreon, although if you want to do that, that's awesome, but if you don't, that's fine. I think if you're like me and you listen to quite a lot of podcasts, this sort of thing is pretty standard fare, so it shouldn't be too concerning for you. In that vein, for people who follow me on social media, this announcement probably won't come as a huge surprise. I asked for opinions on this, and they were pretty overwhelmingly positive about it. Hence why I've taken the plunge. If you do have some really deep concerns about it though, you can get in touch with me via the contact form on the website, historyoldteodora.com. I see every message there, good and bad, so that is the best place to reach me. And that's pretty much it. Neither of those are hopefully too drastic or unusual, but, as I said, there is going to be a big turning point in just the content of the podcast. So it also feels like a good time to take a breather, make some other changes here and there, and just generally try and set ourselves up for a good time going forward. I will also do a Q&A at the end of the year to round out our discussion on pre-European Aotearoa, where you can ask me anything about what we have covered, any gaps you want filled, where we're going in the future, or just things about me if you like, if you want to get to know me and my biases better. I'll make an announcement about it closer to the time, but if you have any burning questions between then and now, just send them my way and I'll start chucking them into a list. When this comes out, it will be just before episode 112, so I hope you enjoy that in a couple of days.
Once again, a huge thank you to everyone who listens, regardless of whether you are a patron or not. This really has been an awesome journey so far. And what's even better? We're only just getting started.